We were asked how to add a button to your website whereby when you pick any of the options, it actually takes you to another location. It could be on your website, like a menu anchor, or it could actually take you to another URL. So you might have a page dedicated for, say, option A or option B, but this could sit anywhere on your website. Now, a very simple way is to just go and create a separate WordPress menu. Drop in a WordPress menu, go and style it with your drop downs and all of that. And then you make sure that the mobile toggle is disabled for, you know, your tablet and your mobile. So it doesn't matter what device you're on, you're always going to get this button. But if you don't want to use a WordPress menu, the really simple, easy way, and you can see my container with there, is with a HTML widget. There will be a link for this in the video description. Go and click it, copy it drop in a HTML widget and just drop this code in. And the reason why the HTML widget works quite well is because you have quite a lot of control over it. So for every option, option A, B and C, I've just added them in here. If you were going to have 10 options, you go and drop them in. And the crucial bit is you go and add in the URL. And it doesn't have to be a URL to another website, okay? It could be to a menu anchor on the same page or another page within your website. So you can be quite versatile on this. What's really cool though, is that you do get a lot of styling options. So if you wanted to style this out and we'll go and change the color over there, you can do. If you wanna change the padding, the border radius, even the width of it, you can do all of that. And also you can decide on your icon. So I've got an added in this particular icon. You can go and get it from the font awesome website or other locations. So if you want to have a particular icon and you want to size it to look a certain way, you can do that as well. So this is just a bit of HTML. There's loads of websites out there, by the way. There's loads of CSS generator websites. Some of them don't always give you the right code or they give you like a version of what it will look like, but it's not exactly what you get. These could be locations. So you may be a window cleaner and then you're going to have a separate page for every location. You could even have a search bar or you can have a drop down like this and they go, oh, I want to go for New York. They click it and it takes them to the New York page. So there's loads of ways that you could use this out. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Catch you soon or catch you later. See you later. Bye.